and as a fellow Canadian, maple syrup runs through my veins. <laughs> and we don't just pour them on top of pancakes or waffles. I also enjoy dipping my chicken nuggets in them. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have saw that this week in Canada, we had two to three feet of snow. Miku also thoroughly enjoyed the snow. And I've been waiting for this to happen because who doesn't love shoveling snow for two hours in the cold. And also, it's a perfect time to make some maple taffy, also known as tierce la neige in French. It's a traditional candy that originated in Quebec. And you can typically find these prepared and eaten alongside the making of maple syrup at a sugar shack. I actually came across maple taffy at a Christmas market in Montreal and there were long custom tables that had like depth to it. So it was basically a huge tray, but table style. And there would be this guy pouring lines of maple syrup onto the snow, putting a popsicle on, pay a dollar or two for it and you can roll it up yourself and enjoy it. And just the cold environment mixed with this warm sugary goodness is simply magical. <laughs> we have to first collect some snow, you know? So let's go do that right now. Very snowy. I can make you. I even made a trail. Crack the top. Ow. I believe this is a maple tree. All we gotta do is tap it now. And we can get our own sap. But I'm just a bit lazy. So what we got right here is some 100% pure maple syrup amber comma rich taste <laughs> and can we just take a moment to admire how lovely this bottle looks it's so rustic looking and so fancy and for those of you that don't know how maple syrup is made tree sap is actually a clear water-like fluid that eventually gets boiled down into this nice gorgeous maple syrup now let's get maple taffying so I got a decent sized pot right here. Make sure the pot has an inch or two to allow the maple syrup to bubble. And there's no measurement required. You can make as little or as much syrup as you like. And we're gonna let it boil on medium heat. As you can see, lots of bubbles are forming. I can smell a nice maple aroma coming from the pot filling up the kitchen. And as we wait for the syrup to boil, for those of you curious about how this gorgeous maple syrup can turn into taffy, as you boil the maple syrup, water from the syrup evaporates. And it's basically how sap turns into syrup. Now we're doing syrup turning into taffy. And there's a specific stage that we must reach in order to make this taffy. It's called the softball stage, AKA 112 to 115 Celsius. And don't worry, because if you don't have a thermometer, you can also take a nice cold glass of water and drip some of the syrup in. And if the syrup melts into the water, then it's not boiled enough, but when you hit the softball stage and you drip it in, it'll still hold its shape. And to make sure it's taffy-like, you can also grab a little chopstick, wiggle it around, see if it's gonna hold its shape. Also, the reason why we don't wanna stir it is because when you stir the syrup or any type of sugar syrup, it agitates it. And we don't wanna agitate syrup just like you don't wanna agitate other people. <laughs> this syrup likes to be alone. So we're just gonna leave it alone because once you agitate it, it'll become angry. <laughs> 
<laughs> and once it's angry, it'll crystallize. It'll be like, Rah! crystallize. And then it'll become this gritty, sandy texture. Let's go check on the syrup. We're looking for 112. All right, so it reached 112. We're gonna turn off the heat. And we're gonna wait a few minutes, let the snow melt a little so it's more packable. It's still a bit too fluffy for our liking. It's super cold, but you gotta pack it down really tight. Grab a clean spoon, scoop some up like so. And what I got right here is some wooden coffee stirrers. You can use popsicle sticks, chopsticks, whatever you have. Look at that. Gorgeous. So the syrup has cooled down a bit, so we're gonna heat it up. And if your snow has melted and there's like little divots here, just pat it down again. You can see right here the difference between the three. Obviously this is the freshly rolled one. These have been sitting for a little bit. So we have a mess of a pot left over. I have a little trick where I add some water into the sticky mess of a pot. I bring it up to a boil. I grab my favorite tea. I like orange pico, by the way. I would pour that hot maple water into a nice cup and steep my orange pico. And then you got yourself a nice cup of maple tea to enjoy. Mmm, very maple-y and delicious. And it also saves you from scrubbing your pots for like two hours. So it's a win-win situation. And we are Feeny. All right, so this is the finished product. And let's begin the taste test. And I'm super excited. All right, let's get this. Oh, there's a chunk of ice on this. All right, cheers. First bite's for you. Mm, nom, nom, nom. This is such a good texture. Look at that. There's a little bit of that stretchy pull. Let me pull it a bit. Ooh, this is definitely taffy-like. Mmm, wherever you live in the world, if you have snow right now, please go out and buy some maple syrup. And you can't use like the, I think it's called pancake syrup because that's different. You have to use 100% pure maple syrup. It has a nice deep, smoky, woody taste to it. Nice and chewy. You would expect this to like stick to your teeth, but it actually doesn't. Like once you take a bite, you chew it a bit, it just melts. got a little maple syrup pull instead of a cheese pull. It has a nice rich maple syrup flavor, woody, smoky, rich caramel flavor. When I was a kid, I would always make this, especially if there's like a big snowfall, I would rush to my pantry 
grab my maple syrup, pour it in a pot and boil it. I didn't have a thermometer at the time, so I would just estimate. And we would have these nice, warm maple taffy lollipops to enjoy. So this gets look at you stamp of approval. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week. And I'll see you guys next time.